and then we're hearing we're going to get a fucking blue passport back. Guys are celebrating online like we've won something. Like, the pound's down 15%, bro. You're poor and you're celebrating a blue fucking passport. You can't afford a holiday anyway. That Meghan and Prince Harry engagement just made me laugh for so many different reasons. And then you get people running around like this is our fucking Obama moment. Like everyone's going on like it's like some magical day. Fair enough at like the Reading, like the last time they had that many black people in the Royal Palace was probably when they were selling them or something. I don't know, innit? Bitcoin's hilarious to me. It's like the new vegan. Everyone's like, but you need to get this. But I'm like, when did you become a financial advisor, bro? Like, do you know what I mean? It's like people come and telling me about Bitcoin, you're missing out. And uh, bruv, you don't have a maths GCSE and you're telling me about Bitcoin. <laughs> Which story what happened do you think's got the best drug dealer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you know. I don't think there's much drugs in the Tory party. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, yeah. oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my Ah! Oh. Can you get the number four? Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Could have finished. Massive, he was trying to force his way out of Man United. Mm. Like, use Man United as a stepping stone to get to Real Madrid. Done all that bullshit. Left Real Madrid. And then all of a sudden, he's at Juventus. He's happy. Then one day he decides he's not playing for them again. And all of a sudden he's on the market, bro. What makes me laugh is that he feels like he should be playing Champions League football. Like, bro, I want to know what, like, you know. <laughs> he's dusted, bro. I'm going to be real. Like someone reminded me in March, mm. this bro was on nine Premier League goals. Yeah. In March. Yeah. And then all at the end. 18, bro. He started stat padding oh, yeah. at the end, bro, because he got hat tricks, innit? Okay. Bro, the Brer scored in like 10 of like 33 games or something like that. Mm. The guy's a false image, bro. He didn't have a good season. Mm. He just scored in bunches here and there and it covered up the fact that we were carrying him for two thirds of the season, bro. Mm, mm, like, mm. bruv, get him out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So all these first dates, dinners and that, no, bro. We're going to go for coffee. We're going to go bowling. We're going to fucking go play mini golf or whatever we're gonna do an activity together that's fun that i'm going to enjoy so i'm getting something out of it bro certain gal think that fucking food is a personality trait you see their dating profiles oh i'm a foodie and that bro everyone eats bro everyone fucking eats or will die that ain't a personality trait or oh, i'm a foodie like what what that what Shut up, man. You know, eat someone else's food. You ain't eating, you man. You know what it was with Kel, yeah? It was hard for Kel Brook to get the big names because you know what the Americans are like. Yeah. Like, if you're not fighting there, they don't care. Yeah. They don't Eddie Hearn, that's my what I'm saying. They Eddie don't, don't want people. They don't, don't fuck with Eddie you. Eddie Hearn don't really want And Eddie Hearn there. was like, yo, like, stay here. I'm the daddy. I can sell out Wembley. Man don't need to go there. Mm. Yeah. Do you know you what I mean? Easy bag, brother. So his thing was always, yo, I can put on stadium fights here. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what he's always done. So with Kel, it was kind of like when Kel was in his prime, he wasn't getting the fights, and also, think about it. You don't want to fight Kel Brook because it's not worth right. it. Because no, one, he's a very right. good that fight. Exactly. Mm. There's nothing in it for you. Yeah. That's, because it's a hard night's work. It's yeah. a hard yeah. night's yeah. work. Hard night's work. And that's why Dillian, yeah, yeah, has been what number one contender and for years and no title shot because yeah, it's like if I fight work. him, even if I do win, I'm getting beat up. It's yeah, not yeah, worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not the guy, no one complains. Like everyone kind of knows. Like there's always there's an accountability there's a hierarchy amongst men like we just know from early like where we kind of fit in in it like we live in a world where we get shown and told where we are all the time and what what we are in it and i just feel like for women there isn't really that but i think their friends just lied to them too much. I, I did i did whole tight troops as well bruv i told you man now you man are out like toes in the summer fam pedicure fc blood that's what you man are i told you we ran for you lot like the lasagna you gave spurs blood it was easy work it was easy work. Listen. Abama what? Abama I, where, blood? Wait a minute. My man scored a tap in and put on Ozil's invisibility cloak and went missing for the rest of the Hold game, blood. I told man. So yeah, I told man. Gavin needs Jamie Vardy, blood. I told man. Was, he scored, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. He, he scored a goal that my mum would have scored right. and then he went missing after that, blood. I oh, told man. Up, man. That's shut it. Up. Easy work, blood. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know what gets me? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what gets me about you United fans? You made Lukaku look good, You know what gets me about you United fans? You did. You were balling a couple of um, weeks ago. We were. Oh, we this, were. that. And Snorri the sun, son, blood. And isn't it? Eight on the bounce. Isn't it a disgrace? Man, bouncing like double knees on the treadmill, blood. It's right. easy work. Bruv, that's what I'm saying. Don Robbie was getting terrorised, bro. I told man already, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Man told them, I remember that game, bro. I wound Robbie up something rotten, blood. You know, like that. I wound him up something rotten, blood, with the Jon Snow coat, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Man can't chat to me, bro. I'll be honest, bro. Like, this this is, that's a show reel that a lot of the brands ask for, like, when, when they got to pay me money, bro. You get me? And that's why Dave put that together recently, but... That reminded me yeah, of all the shit that I've done in this game, bro. And there's bare stuff that's not even there. Because all my Channel 4 stuff is on TV, but it's not on the internet. So I can't fucking get it. You know, like that. So it's one of them ones where, bro, my I have had skin in the game for years and years, bro. That Vice series, yeah, I've done four episodes in that series. I wrote them all myself. I done everything myself. All they did was give me a camera crew, bro. I chose the location that we were going to film at. They never knew what was in the script. I was just doing it off my head, bro. Like with bullet points, like walking through London and shit. These men never knew how it was going to come out. A man done 25 million views worldwide. 25 million, bro, got nominated up against fucking shows like Love Island. I was at some fucking awards with BBCs and that. My thing was the only Vice thing that got nominated. The only one. Do you know what I'm saying? And I wrote that myself, bro. That fourth episode that we done in the Tory conference in Manchester, I wrote that on the train on the way up to Manchester from Houston. I wrote that in two hours. I wrote that in two hours, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? A man got nominated for a fucking award, bro. Up against shows that take years and years to get put together. And then I'm going to get little bums talking to me, talking to me about, oh, yeah, Goldbridge gave you a platform. It said Vice 2017. 2017, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So, man, I've been out here. Man sold out a live show, yeah, in Shoreditch with my mum in the front crowd and my brother hosted the show, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and all the pictures are on. All the pictures are on fucking Instagram, bro. If you scroll down farther enough. Houston to Manchester takes two hours. And in two hours, I wrote a fucking, a whole fucking episode for the series, bro. You know, like that. So when man, so when man have to just come around and be talking shit, talking about certain man made me. If that brother made me, then how come I left here and I'm doing so well by myself? Bro, it didn't make me, bro. Do you know what I mean? That bread didn't do nothing for me. They benefited of having me. If I never went on that channel, I would still be where I am now. Do you know what I mean? If anything, I would have been doing better than I am now because I wouldn't have wasted two years, yeah, giving them, man, the quality that I possess when they didn't deserve it. You know, like that. I would have spent two more years on myself and I would have been further down the line. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it just is what it is, bro. You know what I mean? But... Everything in life, every L is a lesson, bro. I left on my own terms. Do you know what I mean? I left on my own terms, bro. Man didn't leave. Man didn't get rid of me. I was bringing in views to that channel, bro. My fan, my fan cam used to get the most views. So why would man get rid of me? Doesn't make sense. I woke up one morning and said I wasn't coming back. Do you know what I'm saying? Good for KG and good for Flex, bro. I'm glad they're doing well. Again, them man never started from zero, bro. Them man are backed by Don Robbie, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm backed by myself. Do you know what I'm saying? If Robbie was my uncle and I said, Robbie, yo, pattern me up, like help me do this, that, and the other, and sort me out, I'm sure I would have 500,000 followers or whatever. But I don't. I backed myself and I went it on my own. Do you know what I mean? And that's no disrespect to them, man. That's no disrespect to them. But I ain't got no machine behind me. I am the fucking machine. I am the machine, bruv. You know, like that. And that's just what it is. So, big up Flex. Big up Robbie as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Big up KG. I don't really know KG, but there's no bad blood there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Flex messaged me the other day to see how I was because he saw I was in hospital. You know, like that. So, do you know what I'm saying? Big up Flex. Because we don't speak all the time, but he never had to reach out to man to see if I was all right. And he did. You get me? So, it is what it is. But the bottom line is, yeah, no one never gave me nothing, bro. I got it from the mud. So did my brother. 
when you see my old videos, like my BBC Sport video that I done in 2016 or 2017, whenever the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight was, do you know what I mean? And now when you see yeah, the similarity between the stuff that my brother does and what my old stuff, it's because, bro, that's my little bro, bro. Do you know what I mean? I started doing this thing and a lot of the stuff that he does is inspired by me. We just have different personalities. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. But the bottom line is, like, we both got it from nowhere. We never had no one open no doors for us. Do you know what I'm saying? No one did open no doors for us. In 2016, I was doing shorts on Facebook, bro, on my own page, with no, no fucking machine behind me, getting 100, 200, 300,000, 1 million views on my own channel. Not too many men can get a million views on one video on their own channel with just their face in front of the camera, bro. So they can't compare me to these, these guys, bro. They're not on my level. That's, that, that's the reality of it. But because I don't go around showing people all the stuff that I used to do, people think I just came out of nowhere, bro. 100%. Man was on The Guardian as well, me and Vooj. That's why me and Vooj are like this. I spoke to Vooj yesterday, bro. Me and Vooj were chilling with Jeremy Corbyn, bro. <laughs> me and Vooj were chilling with Jeremy fucking Corbyn, bruv, during an election. Me and Vooj was in the Facebook building on the night of the election, bro. Like, man don't know all the shit that man have done, you know? Fucking hell. Vooj is one of the realest guys in social media, period, bro. That's my brother for life. For life. You know, like that. Me and Vooj went through some real shit together do you know what i'm saying so it's one of them ones where i saw that pic with corbin yeah bro me and corbin bruv me vooj corbin diane abbott bro man's been been out here my facebook page has got over a hundred thousand followers and i don't upload and the double down news you man know i've been around the block so when guys disrespect me please understand that bro, man got it from the mud, rude boy. 100% it's good to be humble, bro. That's why I don't really talk about things I've done. And that's why a lot of people don't know the stuff I've done. But at the same time, sometimes you have to let a pussy all know that you're not that guy. 100% I'll go Serbia with Vuj. 100% I'll go. you done so much. I thought you only had that McGregor video on BBC only. Bro. Too many things I've done, bro. And of course, that's why I rep Vooj's merch as well. Because Vooj is my brother. I bought that t-shirt. He didn't give it to me. I bought that. You know what I'm saying? And the same with Harry Panero's thing. I bought that as well. Harry Panero, I'm the one who brought him onto the United Stand. It was me, blood. Alexis, that's on ESPN. That's my G. I brought her on here. I brought her on the United Stand. So all these media links and stuff like that, bro, those were mine. I was doing mainstream before the United Stand. The mainstream didn't know who they were. Full-time devils were getting all the gigs before I went on there. And then man are going to turn around and say that they made me. No, 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 no. I was a massive asset to them. Massive. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? I've got connections all over the place. All over the place. I just choose not to use them because I just want to live a quiet life all by myself. But now, nah, big up. Now, nah, big up. Yeah, but Troy's my guy. But of course, but again, again, with the fresh ego link and all that. Again, that was me. You man saw the BBC Sport thing, yeah? I was on BBC Sport and fresh ego, kid, bro. Nobody done that before me. Man done, man done the Vice thing in Fresh Ego Kid, bro. I got 25 million worldwide views in a Fresh Ego Kid tracksuit and a fucking baseball cap. Bro, like that's net, bruv. Do you understand how groundbreaking that actually is, bro? Who was on BBC Sport in a tracksuit and a baseball cap before me? Nobody. No one. 